Bane saw the ground tremble from the plane. He didn't know yet, the strongest earthquake in history was coming, and it's only just beginning. This sudden, massive earthquake, it shook the entire city. People in the upper floors had no place to hide, buildings were torn apart, rooftop debris fell like rain, panic crowds were in chaos. Dwayne's ex-wife Carla opened the door, all the buildings around her had collapsed. The ground was in ruins and there was no place to hide. Dwayne's daughter Alexandra was with her stepfather, they were in the underground parking lot, the walls around them kept falling off. The ground is sinking in, and a big gaping hole had opened up, the driver crashed into the wall and was killed by a boulder. Alexandra's leg was caught in the seat. The stepfather tried to get Alexandra out, but he couldn't move the seat with all his strength. He wanted to try to move the boulder outside. Suddenly there was an aftershock. Stepfather looked around. There was no one around. He told Alexandra not to be afraid. He went out to get help. By this time, the crowd was heading for the exit. The stepfather found the security guard in charge. He hoped he could help save Alexandra, but a huge rock fell from overhead. The security guard was buried under the rubble. Only one of his shoes is visible. The stepfather was not only panicked, he was terrified. He couldn't care less about Alexandra. After all, she wasn't his real daughter. So he fled the building alone, following the crowd. Hugo knew about Alexandra from the conversation he had just had, although they had only just met. But the kind-hearted Hugo decides to risk his life to save her. On the other hand, Carla wanted to take the crowd to the roof, because Dwayne had just told her that his plane was up there. The end of running downstairs was certain death, but no one listened to her. She had to go there by herself. When she got to the top of the building, she was stunned by what she saw. As Dwayne arrives, the building next to him collapses. He thought his ex-wife, Carla, was going to die, but he didn't expect her to be alive. I'm afraid she's the only one left in the building. Next they have to find out where their daughter is. Alexandra has been trapped in the car for a long time. She almost given up hope. Suddenly, she heard someone calling her name. It was Hugo and his brother, who they had just met. Hugo gets a crowbar and tries to remove the boulder from the car, but it was too heavy to move. I just have to get out of here. This building's gonna go up. Hugo found the jack in the car. Maybe we can use it to push the rocks out of the way, to give Alexandra more room to move. But there's a limit to how high the jack can go. Alexandra's leg was still stuck very firmly. Hugo had an idea to puncture all for tires, so that the height of the body will drop. This illusion really works. Alexandra finally escaped from the car. The aftershock still hadn't stopped. People are still running for their lives. The intensity of the quake was unprecedented. Rescue teams couldn't come for a while. There was no cell phone signal. People can't only rely on themselves. That's when it's important to know how to escape. Alexandra's father is a firefighter. Since she was a child, she has learned all kinds of escape skills and techniques. They found an electrical store and made a simple homemade foam. Dwayne was contacted. Dwayne told his daughter to go to the tallest tower in the city. He would pick her up there in a helicopter. Another big earthquake started. This one was rated 9.1. The bridge collapses and the river pours. Everything around them was instantly reduced to nothing. All people could do was to run for their lives. This group of people suddenly felt a strong tremor. Suddenly, a building in front of them collapsed. The falling dust and debris rushed into the crowd. People panicked and looked for cover to save their lives. In a disaster, human nature is revealed. This man dressed as a business he wanted to live. He dragged the man who was hiding in the corner out and took his place himself. And he was caught in the rubble. Dwayne was still looking for his daughter, but was blocked by a huge crack in front of him. It's a fault line caused by an earthquake. The rift runs for hundreds of miles. It's a long detour to get there. But his daughter can't wait that long. He found out from an old couple. There's an airfield nearby. Anyone else would have been helpless. But Dwayne is a firefighter. Planes are like cars to him. The two soon took to the skies, rushing to their daughter's location. Alexandra escaped with a crowd with Hugo. She and her father had agreed to meet at the tallest tower. But when she was almost there, there was an accident. Smoke was billowing around the tower. There seemed to be no way to get to the top of the tower. Alexandra immediately decided to go to the second tallest building in the area. The crowd was heading west. Only the three of them were heading east. Dwayne and Carla had made it to the city, but the ground was badly damaged and there was no place to land. They had to parachute out, set the plane to auto flight mode. When it ran out of fuel, it would crash in the Pacific. No one on the ground would be hurt. Ah! 
The two landed successfully. Twain wins back Carla's heart again. Another wave of earthquakes hits. The city, already in tatters, is once again in tatters. Hugo's leg is lacerated by falling debris. Alexandra holds on to her brother. She only hoped that the shock would pass quickly. In the face of disaster, human beings seem to be very small. Some of the people who didn't know what to do had entered the cars and didn't dare to move. Dwayne knew it was a sure way to die. He directed the crowd out of the street. The buildings around him were about to collapse. The only way to survive was to find a triangle of walls to use as cover. There was a chance of survival. No one in the scurrying crowd was spared. Only Dwayne's small group of people survived. It was too late to save his daughter by going by land. Dwayne and his ex-wife found a boat. When they arrived at the promised location, they found the tower had been completely destroyed. But he knew his daughter very well. It's been burning a while. Just got some Where are you, baby? Where are you? What's your plan B? Big quake must be followed by tsunami. Alexandra and the others have already heard the tsunami warning. The tsunami after this powerful earthquake must be more terrible. The only way to survive is to escape to higher ground. To have a chance of survival. The sea is full of yachts trying to escape. To survive. You have to go through the huge waves, but this is a huge tsunami. After a 9.1 magnitude earthquake, can the yacht really withstand the waves? Can it reach the highest point of the waves? Come on! Come on! Suddenly, a huge cruise ship appears in front of him, doing with his excellent driving skills. He brushed past the cruise ship. The lid of the yacht was lifted off. The containers on the cargo ship fell one by one because Dwayne was covered by the aura of the protagonist. So he managed to avoid it without any risk. When they reached the top and looked back, the people around them were not so lucky. The Golden Gate Bridge was destroyed by the waves. The city has just experienced a superb earthquake. Now it has to bear the irrigation of seawater. The frightened crowd fled everywhere. Only this old couple was so peaceful. They knew they could not escape. And all they could do was to die together in each other's arms. Alexandra's group had climbed up to the tallest building, hoping to escape the tsunami. A few moments later, the water was rushing into the middle of the city. They were nowhere near high enough. They had to cling to the wall to reduce the force of the water. The water washed over one building after another. This was the strongest one in the city. The three men escaped for now. The city had become a sea of water. Dwayne is walking through the rubble, hoping to find his daughter as soon as possible. They arrived near their daughter. Alexandra had seen her parents, but through the glass Dwayne didn't even notice as she watched her parents walk further and further away. Luckily, Hugo's brother took a laser pointer from the store. It became a life-saving tool at the critical moment. The mother found the projection of the laser. They looked back, finally found her daughter. The mother jumped for joy and hugged Dwayne with excitement just when the family thought they were going to be saved. Suddenly the ground shook violently. A second wave followed. This time the water poured into the whole building. The water surface also rose rapidly. Hugo saves his brother in a panic. He tried to find Alexandra, but there was no sign of her. The building was about to collapse. Hugo can only take his brother and continue to the high ground. Dwayne knew his daughter was in danger. The boat couldn't get through. He could only jump into the water to save her. After swimming for a long time, he finally saw his daughter. She was trapped in a room because the door was blocked by debris could not open the door. Although they are only separated by a layer of glass, but they are close but seem to be far from each other. The water level was rising fast. If he didn't open the door, Alexandra was going to drown. Dwayne tried to open the door by moving the clutter, but there was too much stuff. It was too much for him to do in the water. Hugo got his brother to safety. He was going to go back and save Alexandra, but an aftershock made the building shake again. The building was sinking while the sea was rising. It's impossible to go back now. The only thing he could do was to keep his brother safe. Dwayne watched his daughter being swamped by the sea. There was nothing he could do. Alexandra was unconscious and unconscious. Because of the shaking, the debris in the doorway seemed to have loosened up a bit. Dwayne finally opened the door this time, but his daughter was already dying. He climbed upstairs with his daughter to join Hugo and the others. Dwayne gives CPR to his daughter. Hugo tried to break the window to get out. 
The glass was too hard, no amount of smashing could break it. The mother outside saw their situation. She drove the yacht to accelerate and finally broke through the window. Several people got on the yacht and left the building. Just as they left the building, it collapsed. Although she escaped with her life, but Alexandra still didn't wake up. There were numerous deaths and injuries from the disaster. Dwayne had already lost a daughter. He didn't want Alexandra to leave. He finally snatched her back from death. Although this is a movie. But if everyone can learn a little escape skills. Then in the face of disaster can reduce a lot of casualties.